they had started on a continuous delivery journey before I joined the company in, in August of last year. Um, I think it was getting a bit bogged down in, I don't think all of my team were, were, were fully on board and I don't think that we were very well integrated with the infrastructure teams as well. So that's something that I addressed quite quickly when I joined the company. So whilst it was going, it wasn't going anything like as fast as I would have liked it to have gone. And now it's now it's going a lot quicker. So it's been driven out of software delivery. It's, so it's been driven out of a desire for our to give our developers faster feedback, to, to give our developers the pleasure of pushing code to the website quicker, to give our customers uh, products quicker, you know, to, to de-risk um, those big, quarterly changes that we used to do or you know that a lot of organizations do which can be very risky you know if you bundle up a hundred changes into one change and drop it on a website or drop it in production and it goes wrong you know it's a classic problem you don't know which part is broken if I'm pushing lots of little changes all the time then then I know you know which which little change it was we use uh, a lot of uh, virtualization a lot of VMware we're not quite at the stage now where we can uh, automatically provision environments. That's on the roadmap, and we will be there uh, probably by the end of June, I would hope, this year. Um, yeah, so, so then we will be able to, from a developer checking in some code, push it all the way up through our environments, have this tool from, um, from CBA called ACDC template what the environments look like, having taken copies from production, and then push those into the various testing environments Assuming the code passes all those, you know, it'll, it'll get deployed onto the website in a you know, toggled off mode. We've gone from a seven week feedback cycle for our developers to something like a three hour feedback cycle for our developers. Um, in terms of actually deploying code, um, we're now pushing code into production on some of our internet sites on a fortnightly basis. Um, previously it probably would have been quarterly.